He sat there in the suburban depths of the city sewers, squatting in the collected filth of 840,000 pe different people. The walls dripped excremental condend condensation down on top of his head, and the quiet swish of slow-moving water echoed around him. It was dark, but his eyes had grown used to it. He could almost see. Now, he rocked on his skinny haunches, not feeling the cold or the damp. He could have been afraid before, in his old life, but that was before the whispers had started. The whispers told him not to be afraid, that they would guide him in the dark, that they had. They told him which turns to take in the dark in the black of the sewer's tunnels where to stop and rest and wait. He had been on his way back from his favorite sandwich place when he first heard the small voices chittering in the back of his mind. They said his name, mostly. He had tried pills at first, antidepressants, and the like, but nothing made the voices stop. His attempts to remove them only exaggerated their presence. They told him to trust them. They were his friends, that they needed his help. He began to believe them after a while. They told him he was chosen for a higher purpose. He was going to spread the word. They directed him to, to a manhole cover behind his apartment complex and told him to go down it. He removed his shoes, socks, and belt and folded them neatly, placing them all together in a perfect little pile just next to the hole. Then he climbed down into the dark. He crawled for an eternity in those dark pits, never questioning the voices in his head. When he found the alcove where he now sat, they told him to stop. So he did. That was when the pain began. A stretching sensation in his guts. Pull a pulling from under the skin. They told him to ignore it. And so he did. The rats stopped approaching him. They had been aggressive when he had trespassed into their domain, sprinting towards them, biting at his ankles. He could hear them skittering in the dark now, just outside the alcoves. But they didn't come any closer. It was like they were afraid. He rolled his tongue around his mouth, prodding at his teeth. One of them was loose, lolling around in its root. Pull it, the voices said. With two fingers, he took hold of the rogue tooth and began to yank it. He pulled and pulled, tears forming unnoticed in his swollen eyes. It came out with a thunk and small outpouring of blood and something else that tasted bad. Throw it away, the whisper said. He tossed it to the outer darkness, scattering a congregation of rats. The rest of the teeth seemed to relax in his gums, and he began pulling them too, tossing them away until his mouth was raw, empty hole, and his sunken face. He spat onto the floor, saliva, blood, phlegm, and that strange foreign fluid all together in one curious blob. It condensed and slithered away into the darkness. He watched it go with its almost sight, and all at once he understood. He was the vessel, the holy reptacle for the seed of the gods of decay. The voices had guided him to a spawning place, a safe haven, where they could be brived into their new world. He smiled, his bleeding gums a hideous parody of mirth in the dark. He remembered all of it making sense now. Those strange things and the voices telling him to ignore suddenly clicked together in some monocolored Rubik's Cube in his mind. How we didn't recognize the foreign man who'd made his food, the way he had serpentilously added something from his apron pocket to the meat and cheese. How the man had smiled toothless and insisted that it was on the house.
Yes, the voices whispered. You are the father of the new order. You will be our first prophet. His body began surge to surge, then his skin swelled. Bones, muscle had swooned, stretched, tearing, making way for some kind of unnatural birth. And then he erupted, his body splitting at every juncture, spilling forth thousands of fat, white worms into the water and shit that passed through the tunnels. They joined the flow, letting it carry them along in its feed it current. Somewhere far above, the warm light of the sun shined down on the world that had no idea it had just ended. <laughs>